Take what's on offer when it's on offer, my motto, because it mightn't be offered again. English will have to grant If I have five words that. to describe Mr. Harry, Mr. they're all going to be pretty <laughs> uh, <laughs> malevolent, I'd say. Uh, I would say uh, witty, assured, confident, cocky, obnoxious. How many is that? Four? Uh, and suave. Five. <laughs> and what do people believe then? That we're sitting on a bomb. And I believe we should be having a good time. You two guys fancy a drink? Because I think Harry is quite a smart guy. And I think he, he reads the papers, he knows what's going on. It's not that he's apolitical, I think he's just more apathetic, if there's a difference. I'm not going to listen to you if you're going to be cynical. In an age of excessive ideals, the cynic is the true rebel. I think he's very uh, for himself. More than anything. He smells nice. See? At least someone's in the mood. He's like the dream character to play because he's a bit of a bad boy and he's also, you know, and people are interested in that. People are interested in what makes people like that tick and how immoral someone can be and how sort of, I don't know, dissolute someone can be, you know. I think that's really attractive for an audience.